Hey everyone, if you haven't heard already, Single Store has just released a share tier that lets you use the core features of Single Store for free. You should definitely check it out if you are working on a site project that requires an easy to use, scalable, modern, and fast database, or if you just want to explore the basic capabilities of Single Store for free. So let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'll explain what is shared tier and guide you through how to set up a workspace on the shared tier. I'll walk you through how to ingest data from your first data set, as well as performing a few queries, and we'll examine together just how performant the shared tier actually is. So the first step, if you haven't already done so, is to sign up for a single store account, which is completely free on singlestore.com slash cloud trial. So once you signed up and are signed in, you will be taken to a homepage that look like this, where you can find some helpful resources and guides to help you get started. For now though, um, I will show you how to create a workspace. So click on the plus group button in the cloud section and here you'll be given two options, to create a starter workspace or a standard workspace. So a workspace is essentially single stores um, synonym to a compute cluster. It's a playground that'll let you run all sorts of fun things. So the shared tier, which is completely free, lets you create one starter workspace that will be connected to one database. So it's called shared because um, in this workspace group, your compute resources will be shared with other workspaces. As for the database, you can store up to 512 megabytes of data, and you can also create up to 25 tables. So let's go ahead and name our workspace as well as our database. Great. So once you're done that, you can see that your workspace is being connected to your database, which is currently empty. So the next thing that we want to do is to connect your workspace. There are different ways to, uh, that you can connect, either via CLI client, SQL IDE, your application, or you can also connect your workspace to different BI tools like Tableau, Power BI. For today though, I'll just show you a single source built-in SQL editor. This is essentially a playground that lets you run and write queries in SQL. So the first thing that we want to do is to create some tables. Here I have a table called employee because I want to use this data set with employee compensation information. So in single store, when you create a table under the hood, we'll spin up a table with a universal storage table type. This is a patented table type that single store developed, which lets you do both transactional and analytical workload super fast. You can also add different indexes and keys to optimize your query. So here I've added a hash index, a short key, as well as a sort key. So let's go ahead and run this. And the shortcut for running command is command return or control return for Windows. Great, now let's verify the table creation uh, with the show tables command. Cool. So now that we've got our employee table, it's time to load some data in. There are, diff there are different ways of ingesting data into single store, but the feature that I want to highlight today is our built-in pipelines. So single store pipelines is a great tool that lets you ingest data into single store extremely fast. And as a built-in feature of the database, single store pipelines can extract, transform, and load this data without the need for third-party tools. It has native connection to uh, cloud storage like S3, uh, Google Cloud, and Azure Blob. It also has connections to uh, MongoDB, MySQL, Kafka, and Hadoop. So because my employee compensation data set is stored in an S3 bucket, this will be the syntax for creating a pipeline. And you can ignore this message because the shared tier is completely free. So um, essentially what I'm doing here is just pointing single store to this S3 bucket uh, URL and let's and loading it into my employee table. So let's go ahead and run this. 
and we can show pipelines to see that the pipeline was successfully created and the current state is stopped. So we can kick off the pipeline by running start pipeline. All right, so what's happening now is that um, this data from my employee compensation CSV is getting uh, ingested into the leaf nodes of my demo database. And the pipelines are leveraging single source distributed architecture. So this whole process is happening very quickly. And exactly how quickly we can run this command to see that um, our ingestion rate is 135,000 rows per second. And within just five seconds, we finish running through the entire batch of 683,000 uh, rows. And we can verify this by running a simple select count. So yep, this is the total number of rows in our data set. And um, because this is a relatively small database, keep in mind that if you have a much larger data set uh, on our dedicated or standard tier, this ingestion rate can go up to millions of rows per second. And another thing is in single store, you don't have to wait till your um, pipeline finishes running to start querying data. In other words, you can query data while some data is still being ingested in the background. But because we've already finished um, running through ingesting the entire data set, let's just go ahead and run some queries. So um, remember when I said that we have a table type that is a, um, called universal storage, which works both for analytical workload as well as transactional workload. So let's start by testing some transactional workload where we want to return just one or a few rows of data. So starting off with a single select statement, um, we want to know the job that this employee had that paid this amount of total salary. All right, so we got the result back in 200 millisecond, um, which is pretty fast. It's just a fun fact. It is less time than the average time it takes for you to blink your eyes. Um, all right, so moving on to the next query, which, which is an analytical query where you do some computation on the data. So here we're, we try to find out what is the average compensation across all jobs uh, by year. So in under 200 millisecond, um, we're getting the results back. And this is for, um, this is doing computation on close to 700,000 uh, rows of data. And I just wanna show you that if you try running this query a, another time, you are getting back the results in um, less than half of the time. And this is because single store compiles um, the query to machine code upon the first time that it executes and caches the compiled plan so that for subsequent queries, um, subsequent executions of the same query, it can just utilize that plan instead of computing again. Um, and that is why every time you, you run it after the first execution, it'll be significantly faster. All right, let's run another analytical query, um, maybe this time to find out what is the most employed job each year. And again, we're getting the result back in under 200 milliseconds. And if we want to try with a more complex query that involves a um, CTE, common table expression, uh, as well as a uh, ranking fun sorry, a window function, um, you can see that we're still getting back the result in under 200 millisecond. So hopefully this goes to show you that even with the free share tier, single sort is still very performant um, with both analytical and transactional workload. So feel free to go ahead and try the share tier for yourself. And once you see the benefits or if the share tier no longer um, is sufficient for your workload, 
you can go ahead and try out the standard tier to unlock single source full potentials.